last few days, you've seen our Shark Tank get delivered, get put up onto the stand and placed closer together so that they can start seeming. Well, today, as you can see, it's kind of in like a little quarantine zone because it has to be absolutely clean for the seeming process, which actually starts right now. Are we seeming today? I hope so. Okay, okay, sweet. Okay, so maybe not right now. Maybe it starts in a little bit, but we have some other things to take care of before we get back to seeming this Shark Tank. Like, why is there a truck here? And is it for us? Are we unloading something new today? Let's go grab a couple guys and see if we can figure out what's up with this truck. Oh, oh, that's a big tank, huh? Yeah. We even have the painters painting the mammal rooms. I think they said they're doing black on the ceilings and brown on the walls, so we'll check up in a little bit and see how this looks. I'm sure it's gonna look absolutely amazing. Check this out, guys. This is the first look I got to see at the double bullnose tank. It was wrapped up in plastic, real tall, but it's on the ground and the base is off. So why don't we go find Alex and the team and see why is this out here and where's the coral insert, the stand, and the rest of it? never think about it when you start a project like this, but these pipes have been the absolute bane of our existence. But luckily we don't have me driving the forklift. I would have destroyed these pipes months ago. These guys are pros. I see what I mean? Look at that. It's touching and they're going. I love watching this stuff, man. It is so cool to see people so talented. When you start to clean stuff off and get the paper and plastic wrap off everything, that's when you notice imperfections. You can see Dustin working right behind me. What up, Dustin? Banging all these marks out. So if you can see, there's little marks in here. And those marks are actually called crazing. We're just hyped to have Alex and the team here, and Dustin especially, who's actually buffing this out right now. So big shout out to Alex and the team. We couldn't do this without you quite literally. Let's see how awesome it is to see this turn from a little crazy situation into a beautiful bridge tank. So Dustin, are you using anything special? Like, is this like a special formula? Is this water? Just water. How long do you think a process like this will take? Just this one area, probably an hour. An two. hour? So for the whole thing, a few days, right? Typically. Oh, with one person, yeah. We looked at it, we're like, oh, that's <laughs> we not supposed to be like that. We'll, well get thanks, it looking dude. good though. Oh, I have faith. You guys are crushing <laughs> everything, dude. I'm excited to see it. Whoa, look at this. Blue Grizzly from Bashi's place must have dropped off a couple more stands or something because I don't remember this one. This is for the bow front tank that's actually going to live right about here. Unfortunately, we don't have that tank yet and it's not going to be here for a bit and it causes a lot of problems because we can't set any of the stuff here until that tank gets through. But I will say it is at least cool to finally see the stand for the bow front tank. Looks like Alex is hopping in the semi right now. Let's go catch up to him and see what's going on. Looks like we got a big giant tree, which we definitely need right now for sure. And hi, Alex. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alex is in the back here, sandwiched behind this giant aquarium. We gotta get all that stuff out, and then there's a couple reptile enclosures, which we probably don't need, which is great. We're gonna figure out how to get this out. Bring me my other forklift. Might be too heavy. Yeah, for the little one that's here. So if you guys remember correctly, for the last few days, we've been having some trouble with our forklift, which is why the jelly cylinder is still stuck here, why the slant tank is up there, and why the bull nose is inside. Well, here again today, this forklift problem is giving us more problems. The tank that may be going in here might be too big for the small forklifts. Problem is the driver is already here. The truck is already here. It needs to be unloaded. And you can't use a forklift to carry something heavier than the forklift can carry. Right now, Alex is grabbing a tape measure so that he can see what the size of the tank is, the dimensions, and possibly even the weight, and see if it's even feasible to use the forklift we have. If not, we're dead in the water yet again. And isn't that just awesome, guys? Look at that sign right there. That is so cool. It's a little different than the sign we have on the building. They just got to throw this pole off, make it nice and blue right there to match the top. And that's a wrap on the signs, guys. Thank you guys so much. They look great. I can't wait to see in the future when these good things get lit up it's gonna oh, yeah. be awesome 100%. so guys i'm just sitting on top of the stingray tank one of bride's favorite spots to chill and it looks a lot different now you know everything's so finished looking and put together but i wish he was here right now such a good problem solver and i know he would have done anything to make sure that all this goes right and i'm trying my best to help do this thing and miss him so much man these last few days of the shark tank getting here and getting installed i've been alone over here a lot i just know he'd be right here and we'd be laughing and freaked out together <laughs> miss you dude so much they get it yet? No, they're trying to figure out if they even can. The size of the tank, they don't know if the, remember they were waiting for the heavier duty forklift? It never showed up. <laughs> Cause why would it, you know? But we got a tree. Yeah. You guys gotta start to unload it? I don't know if we have a heavy enough hilo right now because it was supposed to be delivered days ago and they still don't have it. That's what he's in there trying to figure out right now. When we left here last time, I scheduled these to be dropped off. And I told, like I said, I had two big ones coming and you seen what I got, they just don't have it. Can we just change right now and, and not do an aquarium? Only reptiles or anything? Yeah. Big gift shop, real big gift shop.
I like it. Back of the house is looking good. It's already cluttered. We haven't even opened yet. It's already got the back of the house vibes. Right, right. It actually looks good once they paint it. Yeah. They're gonna be here today. The painters? Yeah. They're actually already here. They're painting the mammal rooms. Okay, perfect. Yeah, doing that, they're doing that. That's gonna look so good. Yeah, that covered up really nice. So, this is probably the motion scene it's been at one point, which is good, which is good. Yeah, it means we're making progress. It's just wild to see after a bit of a lull, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely up here, but on the flip side, once we get a few of these things done, it'll be, I think more exciting. Things off our list. Right now there's a lot of things going on. Look at how cool that is. It's gonna keep the hot air in our side, cold air yes, on this side. Yes, I didn't know about this. I don't know if it was Brian, the heating and cooling, whoever came up with it, but I love it. And it solves so many problems. Yeah, I love it too. What's that smell you smell? Paint. Oh nice, yep, they got something perfect. Excited for these rooms. I really am excited. So we should be able to next week putting the walls and stuff like that up. I know the roof for the sloth coming on Monday, so it has to be ready. That's why this has to be done so we can install that. The mammal cages are probably What? <laughs> Just our life, you know? We don't even blink anymore. We're just like, okay. The mammal cages are probably gonna be the first things done. That's great news. They're here to switch out the forklift, which means we can start solving those 150 problems we have, right? Take the small wins. Hopefully it all goes well. It's been a crazy day, I know. But listen, we're figuring everything out. It just takes a step at a time, but there are a lot of problems. That means there's a lot of solutions to be found. Hello? I know you probably just sat down, but uh, they're getting ready to start now. All right, I'll see you in a second. All right. Bye. bye. We're gonna start unloading this truck finally. They got the tree off. Awesome in the we put it in the forest. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it blends in. No one will ever steal it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen an enclosure this size yet. Do you know what this is? I don't know. Let me look and see. Big shout out to Factor for sponsoring this video. We've worked with Factor for the last couple years and they're absolutely amazing. Ready to eat meals delivered to your door and ready in less than two minutes. Today, it looks like we're trying some stroganoff style shredded beef. Let's pop this in the microwave. Then we only got two minutes until we can enjoy this meal. And Mike, check it out. They even gave us wellness shots. You want one? Yeah. Sink them, sure. sink them. Woo! Wow. Those are good. Well, now that you got some good wellness, why don't we see if you can clean this window before Factor's done? Okay, let's do it. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals make eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre prepared, chef crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, and veggie, and even more. And there's more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition packed add ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. What are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel good week of meals ready to go. Fuel up faster with Factor's restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and eat wherever you are. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast upscale options done easily. And it's flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing six to 18 meals per week. Plus you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. No prep, no mess. Factor's meals are 100% ready to heat and eat. So there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. We have a pretty busy life here over at the Reptarium. Factor offers options that make it easy to stick to my goals, and with only a two minute prep, my food's ready in no time. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code BRIANB50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. That seems like about two minutes. Let's go check out and see if Factor's done. Woo, that's hot. Factor's done so quick, the crew didn't stand a chance of getting done before a Factor meal. Let's try it and see how it is. Mm, mm, that's good. So if you want quick and easy meals that you can have anytime, delivered right to your door, head to factor75.com or click the link in the description, put in promo code BRIANB50 and get 50% off, plus get some free wellness shots for the life of your subscription. You know, it takes longer than two minutes, let's be real. <laughs> Especially when you're working with this guy. And that's what's great about Factor. It doesn't take more than two minutes. So wow, awesome. thanks Factor. So we gotta find out where these can actually go. Lori's going inside to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think maybe in the dumpster <laughs> for now? Yeah, obviously I was gonna put them here, but now these are here. I might just have to right now go outside until we can rearrange. This is cool. Yeah, 
We need more blocks. So we got this one down and unloaded. It looks like they may be trying to go for the big fish tank. I think, Lori, what do you think? I believe that's it. I think they got to pull the, the aquarium all the way to the front, like we always do, figure out what we're doing. Yeah, probably a too high low job, I would assume, at the beginning. Is this tank acrylic as well? I thought I heard it might be glass. This one is acrylic. The next the one reef. is glass. This is the biggest. Cool looking aquarium. That's yeah, I awesome. didn't know what to expect. It's definitely a, I guess that's probably, I'm assuming, like the back for the filtration. This one's freaking me out so much, but it is freaking me out. But again, Alex and the rest of these pros crushed it. They got it off the truck. It's down on the ground now. It's a really cool tank. Good job, fellas. What do you think, Lori? Oh, you were hoping it wasn't spray painted on there. You never know. <laughs> I know. All right, you should be good. Oh. These are the branches for the tree. Oh. Oh. More branches? Phew. I don't know. This is my cage. Perfect. Oh, that one's cool. I think you would really like living in there. Room for activities. How is that? Uh, it reminds me of uh, where the Sanzinia are, back by Salt. <laughs> New wardrobe closet. While we were busy unloading, check it out, guys. All blacked out. How cool is that? And I think right now he's just working on the sloth room, which is going to be black all the way from the top down to about here. So he's got a little work on that, but the rest look great. So I know there's a ton of stuff going on over here at Legacy, especially the last few days have been jam packed. The crew said they got some cool stuff going on over at the Reptarium. So let's go over there and check it out. Oh no, not another truck. Oh no. Lori's just trying to go to the office for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? You know, I could tell you no. Know. I don't want it, I could tell you that. What is it? I don't know if this is the sand and salt. All the sand and salt for the aquarium? Again, yeah, didn't get a heads up on. Hi. Hi. It's from MRC Water Filters. They are huge. Unless it's Steve's filtration. Do you know a Charlotte? Do I know Charlotte? Yeah, there's like filters being delivered right now and it's to Charlotte. I didn't know if that's something for Bashy or- Maybe it's Bashy. I don't know. Is it how big are they? I couldn't find Charlotte, but I found Alex. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Alex I mean, is like, big, Jesus. big tanks need build, big filtration, right? You gonna leave? I don't think I need to be here for this. No, one. go enjoy. Get to the office enjoy. before something else happens. Get to the office before anything else goes wrong. <laughs> go, 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 go. Literally all morning, Lori has been trying to get back over to the Reptarium and to BHB, and every time she's about to leave, I call her back because something else is going on. She's gonna chill out for a little bit, go over there and see what's going on, and I guess I'm not going over to the Reptarium anytime soon, so let's get these big skimmers unloaded. Wait, let's check out these big skimmers though real quick. Oh, those are no joke. Those are huge. What do we got, two of them or more? Two. Two giant protein skimmers. I feel like I just saw you, dude. Damn, that building behind you looks pretty good, huh? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we don't we don't want the gaps looking like this, so we're trying to get as close to it as we can. Well, that's awesome news, guys. It looks like they're getting closer to lining this all up. I think here tomorrow or the next day, they're gonna actually start seaming this together into one giant shark tank. Six pieces. Four of them were already seen together, so it was like two big pieces and two small pieces. I just I can't get over looking at it, man. I just sit back here every day and admire this crazy shark tank. What do you think? <laughs> It looks good. Wow, guys. And there it is, the sign saga. We got our pole sign. We got our building sign over there. The place is really coming together. It's the little things, you know, to, to some people putting a couple signs in the building might not mean anything, but for us, it's uh, it's super special, you know? I mean, look at it. It's awesome. I'm sure at some point we should move them in tonight, yep. but for now, I think wherever is out of the way. While Dustin's finishing unloading this truck, I'm not joking. Look at this building, guys. It's coming out so good. I remember Brian walking outside this building and it was just white beams and he saw all this, you know? Like, we would talk about it all the time, but I didn't have the visionary ability to understand exactly what this place would look like. And now to see it looking like he saw it in his head when he dreamed it up is so cool. I mean, look at this. Wow, guys. How awesome is that? Oh, 
and he's got the skimmer out. Got everything unloaded. I'm gonna head back to the Reptarium because I hear that they moved another animal into an enclosure. Night Fury is in this enclosure now. This is the same size enclosure as the one that he was in. A little bit more wall space because his has a little bit of a concave, but I really like the way that these branches look. We always talk about learning the animals and stuff. Pongo, the cowrie tick, is a really great animal, but at the same time, not good for handling with people. He, was, he would strike at the glass sometimes. He was twitchy. We like to have animals here that we can hand off to the public and so you know if there's any Children. risk at all yeah. we like to be proactive on making sure that nothing can happen we decided to take pongo off and switch him out we actually put a new addition inside of so his enclosure and this right here everybody oh right up front and center he Hello. looks familiar why do i i feel like i've seen him before so if you guys watch one of the latest videos of the youtube channels which are, should be on right now this is cowboy yeehaw this is cowboy this is jay and melissa's uh savannah monitor. monitor even though yesterday he did turn into and a you know what the best part is and went up you know what the best part is Sorry, I don't want to He doesn't eat like chicken and stuff on a regular yes, basis. Yes, so I mean, I heard he can get a rare egg here and there as a treat. He loves insects. And guess who feeds insects around here? This girl Condor. right here. This monitor is going to be probably one of the biggest things that I get to feed on a regular basis. Right, yeah, Mike? Yeah. You're not going to take this from me? Should we feed him? Yes. Can we, we feed him? We can try. We can make that yeah. happen. Um, I don't know how he's, I've never fed him before, so we'll see. Oh, that wasn't bad. Connie, why do you think that evolutionarily speaking, they converted into bugs versus like red meats and chicken and birds and stuff like that? It's usually about availability, you know? Like what's in your surrounding area? Probably broadly the answer to that question. Their diet contains mainly of insects because insects are high protein, zero fat. These guys are notorious for getting fatty liver disease very, very quick. So if you do have a savannah monitor, please don't feed it a lot of Sorry, eggs. I don't know why I did that your fingies. Don't feed it a lot of like rodents and stuff. And you know, it's the chicken or the egg, right? That they eat insects because they're prone to fatty liver or do they, are they prone to fatty liver because they don't have access to a lot of fatty proteins in their environment. Yeah, and wow, you can find nerds. bugs. We're nerds. Smallest of and the rock monitors. Why'd you say it like that? Monitors. Ooh, looks like Bashy's here. And what's he got? I don't even know, man. What is this thing? What is that, a boom box? Let's go find Steve and figure out what the heck this is. And take a look at this. All the mammal rooms are done being painted. That looks great. How you doing? Good, what do you got, a boom box in the back of your truck? What is that? Oh yeah, like? those are a couple of filters. Oh yeah, sweet, for filter. here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. One's for the look down, and the other one is for the 200 inch tank that came in today. Dude, oh, they look crazy. You know, it's a good sign when some of the filters start coming this way. That means we're near the end. Go into the QT, the shark QT. Temperature, yeah. Temperature. I got the fans all kicking. You can get inside. Can you believe you're standing in the shark tank? I know. Dude. That's actually, this is like, I might stay here. For the night or like? No, forever. Crazy, guys. This is one of the last times we're going to be able to be inside of the shark tank without a wetsuit on, obviously. And uh, it's really special. I'm going to get out of here before somehow I ruin this thing. What an exciting day, guys. We got a bunch of stuff moved around. We got a bunch of stuff delivered today. Our shark tank is still in quarantine for at least another 12 hours. Really cool to step inside for one of the last times. I'm glad I got to do that. That was really cool. Tomorrow, they start seaming out the shark tank. Speaking of out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.